My name is Esther Fenter and I would like to share with you the story of how God changed my life. I grew up in a normal South African home, I guess. My parents took us to church every Sunday. We did Sunday school and the rest of the week was business. Um, I have no recollection of us worshipping or praying or studying the word together. That was not part of what we did as a family, but I thought we were Christians. When I was around 10 years old, uh, my mom took us to a, back then they just called it a charismatic church. There I heard an altar call for the first time. Somebody actually explained during the sermon that you could give your life to Christ, and I did. That say around the same time, I received the infilling of the Holy Spirit. I could pray in tongues, and I had a deep burden to pray. I, I was little, but I prayed a lot. I remember praying a lot. Life continued as usual. Um, I left for hostel and high school, um, a young Christian with no support. I was not discipled. I didn't know how to follow Christ. I didn't know how to study the Word. I didn't really study the Word. And I didn't love anybody except myself. Um, confessing to be a Christian, but I didn't follow Christ. In fact, I did all the sins that teenagers do just in secret because I wanted to, to look on the outside like a Christian, but I didn't. So lots of boyfriends, drank a little bit, as much as you could drink in the hostel. <laughs> so we did everything that we could um, to be naughty in high school. But my mom at that stage started praying. She started deepening her relationship with Christ. And I really believe God kept me safe from a lot of things, even though um, yeah, I was pretty messed up then. Then I went to university. And the freedom of university just, it was a final blow. I started drinking heavily. I started um, bunking my classes. Um, I lost my virginity in that year. Um, mor morally, I just <clears throat> completely lost my compass. I still called myself a Christian, and I was really caught in a cycle of, of despair because I went from one boyfriend to the next. And I remember uh, visiting a doctor at that stage because I was sick a lot, and he um, diagnosed severe depression and put me on medicine at that stage. It was probably the darkest time in my life. And then a friend of mine wanted to go to church. And because I professed to be a Christian, even though I had no, no um, testimony of Christ in my life, took him to Shofar because I've heard about them. And that night I received Christ for the second time. But something changed that night. I, I kept going back to church and to fellowship. And I started, I was being discipled. And I remember people who knew me then in the drama department and where I worked at the radio station, they asked me continually whether I was in love with someone. And I said, yes, it was Christ. And I, I remember people asking me, why am I so joyful? Um, so I, I knew that the change was real this time. On top of all of that, I had this support of other Christians walking with me, showing me how to do life. Um, I did, I started to roll in all chauffeurs, um, back then they didn't call it encounters, they called it foundations. And each one of those foundations was just so, for me, um, it opened my eyes to doctrine and new realities and ways of following Christ that was just amazing. That and Bible school was the two things that, that really deepened my walk with Christ, that gave me so much tools just with regards to word knowledge. And I think that's what made the difference the second time, is not just did I really fall in love with Christ, um, the Holy Spirit led me into a community where I could learn to follow Him from the Word. Yeah, and, and the healing started there, and I started obeying God. I started doing what the Word says, and when I thought about my story, I got really emotional because I don't know. I don't know how you live this life without Christ. Um, we all have tough times. But I can honestly say that since the day that I met Jesus, my life has meaning and, and there's joy. Yeah, so 18 years ago, my life changed forever. And that is why I also have a heart for, for other Christians and for His body. Because it's such a beautiful place where He meets us.